Hey guys, I've been uh, playing with this ESP8266 uh, module here for a little while and having some fun with it and decided to put a bootstrap user interface on it. So uh, that's what I set out this weekend to accomplish. Uh, I, wanted, I was curious to see how resource hungry it would be, um, how responsive the website would be and how much space I would have on the ESP after the the website was on there so uh, from the ESP.com forum I found this cool uh, web a web server implementation by a fellow named Igor and I'll go ahead and put a link to this in the show notes uh, what is bootstrap and why did I want to use it for my website uh, on the ESP8266 uh, as the site says here it's the most popular HTML CSS and JavaScript framework for developing responsive mobile first projects on the web and as most people are uh, I don't know, 50% of people I'd say usually are looking at any given site on a, a mobile device so it's good to make your site look the best on whatever device so Bootstrap is perfect for that. Um, I am only using the CSS here so I'm not incorporating any of their JavaScript just to keep it a little bit leaner but uh, Bootstrap is a wonderful tool and they as well have something called Font Awesome which is uh, icons that you can extend, uh, font icons that you can extend uh, using the Bootstrap so gives us real cool visual uh, effects for our ESP site. I have also incorporated some uh, animated text fills that are CSS effects uh, and you can learn more about that uh, from a codrops that's on the timpanist.net and I'll leave a link to that as well in the show notes but they've got some really cool text effects, uh, CSS text effects so you can really kind of make your your user interface pop so uh, go ahead and check that out and learn some cool CSS tricks. So I'm not really going to go over the code here as I plan on doing a keeping my code hand strong video uh, delving into the code for this. But uh, what we're doing basically here is just set building up little HTML building blocks, little Legos of HTML, and then coming down here and using those Legos to build our web pages. So uh, I'll do another video where I where I go into the code and kind of explain it real a little bit better. But that that's basically all we're doing here. So after compiling the sketch, it says we're only using 39%. So that still leaves us with a good bit of headroom for our program, our actual program to run on there. So um, not really that that resource intensive. Um, we'll go ahead and load up our sketch here. So uh, there it goes. It's going to load up for us here. And it'll go through the first part, and then it'll go through the second part here. And that LED will shut off when it goes out of boot mode. And there it's flashed, it's ready to go, so it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. So after we get our website IP address for the module here, we can go ahead and go to the the website that it gives us and that'll pull that should pull up a pull up our user interface here and we just have three navigation buttons for toggling uh, here's the LED toggle page and uh, it's not too slow I mean it, it, it pulls up kinda slow on the on the iframes but it's fairly responsive it's not gonna keep prevent users from going to the next page it's fairly uh, fairly responsive so so again I'll go ahead and make a, another video going over the details of the code and more of the functionality of the page I just really wanted to get this uh, video out there and uh, see what you guys thought see if you could uh, improve it refactor it a bit uh, hopefully it's helpful Hopefully um, you can use it and just goes to show that it's not terribly resource intensive to put some CSS uh, and make a semi-slick user interface for your ESP8266. So I'll put links in the show notes to Bootstrap where you can get Bootstrap CSS and learn more about it. I'll also put links to the Font Awesome so you can learn about that and how to extend that and use it in your websites. I'll also post a link to the original web server example by Igor and I'll also post a link to the code where you can get this sketch so you can use it uh, in your 
projects, I'll as well leave up these iframes and uh, CSS effects so you can call them and use them in your uh, projects as well. So uh, hopefully you like. Uh, if you do, subscribe. And thank you for watching.